And we welcome everywhere around the world. Everybody we welcome him, boy. <laughs> You right. piss them off, you will turn to the hall. Hey, listen, listen, y'all niggas did not want none of that shit. The fuck, fuck <laughs> that nigga at the top, the two top niggas right there. Well, I'll lay both of y'all niggas the fuck down. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Paris, yo, let them know your YouTube, bro. It's Family Gaming for You, all caps at YouTube. They should already know your Twitch. You want to put your Twitch out there or anything? Uh, Twitch TV forward slash family gaming underscore Twitter is at family gaming underscore everything is always at family gaming you can even find us on Facebook now at family gaming community on Facebook Django knuckleheads knuckleheads 88 for life made it out the red zone baby that, what what the fuck is that? Is that your Twitch or YouTube or something, bro? You just that's my Twitch, y'all. That is my Twitch. I only, oh, I mean, just, you gotta on YouTube. Gotta let Twitch. them know, Sally. I have no idea what my Twitch is. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna. Hold... I'll stream like that. Hey, but we all on, we are all on Discord, so you could definitely do our Yeah, we all on Discord. Yeah. Jay Sully on Discord. There you go. You can always catch us on Discord. Uh, subscribers to the my twitch if you're watching the stream if you subscribe to the twitch you're instantly automatically got a spot in one of the podcasts for whatever conversation we're gonna have or something that you might want to talk about any subscriber can jump in and they'll get featured get a chance to shout out their stream their community and talk about something that they might have on their mind during one of our podcast sessions yes that is correct my shit my youtube is mr j good I think that's it. I don't know what my Twitch is. No, I'm just saying. I don't know if it's 87 or not. It's one of them. And then my Twitch, I don't really stream like that. So you ain't got to worry about that. But they can still catch you on Discord. If you want to talk about the podcast and come up with conversations and what you call it, they can jump in the Discord and, you know, talk to you and come up with some ideas. With oh, yeah. They can always uh, hit any of us up and any topics that y'all got that's real good uh, topics. We'll talk about that shit. You can jump in with your topic. We can converse about that. Uh, on another note, I still want to do what well, we still want to do, the gaming shit, but we're just trying to get everything situated before we get that on the wrap. So this right here, this podcast will be the 18 and up mature podcast where we're just talking, you know, get a little insight on a couple things. <laughs> I made sure to put the disclaimer in it ahead of time. So when people come into the family gaming page, and they're like, oh, it's a family thing. Yeah, we are. But right now, this is the adult only section, like the back of the video store. Where the kids can't go and the adults, they just open the door and go to that back thing. That's where we at right now. We're on our grown man talk. <laughs> yeah. All right, speaking of grown man, I was having this conversation a while back about legends. And someone brought it to my attention that Soldier Boy, well, people like Soldier Boy, uh, Chief Keith are legends. I didn't consider them legends, but I guess that's because I'm older. So my question would be, why don't a lot of people consider them legends in the first place. And with that, what is being a legend mean? What is the criteria for being a legend in the first place? Listen, the criteria for a legend, it changed every day. So it don't matter. <laughs> everybody get into a Hall of Fame. Everybody won a championship. Hey, hey, I'm a legend. Come to my neighborhood. I'm a legend. And I ain't shit to these niggas, but a short midget with dreads and talk shit to me all day about my kids. But I'm a legend <laughs> over here. A legend is anybody. And listen, you go to Jay Good Job, he a legend for talking shit. Mm. You go to Sunny <laughs> Job, he a legend because he got three hundred dollar Prada shades on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you walk around, he walk around with dollars, hundred dollars coming out of his pocket. For the kids. He a legend. Cause I make the porch for the kids. <laughs> Yeah, he is. He's a legend. Just not fat amount brown. Shit. So that means anybody so could be a legend. No, it, it takes nothing to be a legend. What, what do they? What do they consider a legend for? They? Are they talking about legend for hip hop? They talking about rap? They talking about just a new thing in general that not part of any of those? Well, I personally can't consider them for hip hop. Because well, they're not hip hop. Okay, well, Soldier Boy is considered a legend for the shit that he's accomplished, and everybody's following the blueprint too. Chief Keef is considered a legend because they saying he birthed a lot of these newer artists, 
Also, it was somebody else that they was considering being a legend too. Oh, they call him X a legend, but I guess that just because he passed Triple X. Um, and it was somebody. Oh, and they said Kid Cudi too, because a lot of the yeah, a lot of the melodic sounds that they doing now, everybody got from Kid Cudi. Even they saying even Kanye West got that shit from Kid Cudi. So yeah. So my thing is. So okay, we call we call niggas like Big and Tupac legends. Okay, but why are they considered legends? And then with that criteria, can we put it up against um the newer generation that they're considering legends? Like, okay, if we're going by hits, okay, Biggie and Pac, they had a bunch of hits, but so did these newer niggas, they had hits too. Or are we going by like did they have to die? Or like that's what I'm trying to figure out what kind of criteria makes somebody a legend. I do feel that when people die, they automatically, like, oh, man, this person passed. So they automatically either slide them into one category or they instantly go up for an award that they would have never gotten if they would have, not, they wouldn't have gotten, but it would have been later on. But once they die, they're like, all right, everybody was supposed to get it this time. We know y'all supposed to get it. We're going to slide y'all back, slide this person up so we can get them out of the way. If they didn't deserve to get it, you don't get it just because you passed. And you passing and you got it. You still don't get no accolade for it. They just give it to your your mom or your wife or your kids, and that's it. Mm, different areas. When it come to Tupac and Biggie, Tupac was more for the lost for the people. He wanted to upbring his people. You know, he wanted to go to get them changed. Soldier boy can't compare the two. All he was doing was teaching kids how to yule on that thing. That's it. <laughs> All right. and, and the thing with Biggie and Pac, they were like the front runners, even during when they were alive. They know you're talking about East Coast, you're talking about Biggie. You're talking about West Coast, you're talking about Tupac. They, they, they They're the captains of the teams. teams. But Soldier Boy, I guess he started this new stuff with like the YouTube craze and everybody putting their stuff up on YouTube. Right. And- Nobody was doing that. Nobody was thinking he's about it. Because he's the first person I've seen. Black that used to stream. Remember, he used to stream. Uh, yeah, right. Remember his homeboy. So, as far as front runners, as far as internet and putting it out there and the dancing and making social media work for him, because he wasn't on the radio until he got popping on social media. So now yeah. everybody is what they call Insta famous, YouTube. Everybody got a SoundCloud. Everybody want to make music. And he was pushing a lot of his music and making those clips and stuff so that he could have his music. Uh, made into ringtones when ringtones was really bussing. Nobody was knowing what to do with ringtones and every phone had a ringtone or a snippet for their messaging service or whatever and his music was all of it. So they were just giving him the money because they didn't know what to do with the royalties for the ringtone thing. Yeah, you could just take that money. Not knowing that later on it was going to be big and now people are purchasing ringtones and I got all the royalties to mine. Mm -hmm. Right. But I still don't consider that making him a legend. I think that he was innovative and creative. Okay, you give him pioneer that. Rich, but <laughs> that's where I think they're confusing the word legend with pioneer. You know, I pioneered but, but, the, yeah. the era of streaming your music you just, and creating the ringtones. You just said that Biggie and Pac was a front runner, so they also pioneers. So right? I do think that is- he was a pioneer. Okay, so then that goes back to what I was saying. What makes them a legend? Well, I don't even think they were really pioneers. They, but that's what you said. You they said were, that they were, they were front runners. They were because they were the top of their game. You know, when you talked about hip hop, their name was in the conversation because they were lyrically sound. They they had the storytelling. They, you know, they they were there. They they had that. They alluded that that vibe, whatever they embody, you know, they, you felt them opposed to soldier boy. You, yeah, he was a pioneer and creative, but you don't feel nothing. He was doing, you may move a little bit to one of his songs, but then he didn't even have like the consistency of, of the rest of them. You would never put him up as one of the, the best to ever do it. To me, that's what a legend is. If you one of the best to ever do it, Jordan is a legend. Kobe is a legend. There was other people that were good. LeBron, legend. Oh, my God, bro. Because he forgot Ooh. to say LeBron. I was just making sure he didn't forget um, to say LeBron is a legend, too. I, I, I would say he's a legend, yeah. He's a legend. 
But then if you want to talk about people that was just pioneering in their stuff, then you would have to bring in other people like like Will Smith. I would never say he's a legend, but oh my gosh, I say, Will Smith <laughs> legend to me. Yes, he's a legend to me too. Thank you, Jay. Good. Hey, Will Smith was a legend. Boy, what you talking about? He had his, and he was like, I think one of the first ones to transition well in and out from TV shows back and forth. Yep, to fucking movies, back into music. That's a legend to me. See, that's legendary status. Only other person to do that is what Jamie Fox. Yeah, but yeah. we're talking about we, we're talking about hip hop. Legends would be oh my gosh, like the, one of the best to ever do it. They they just they have the whole trifecta, and it's he's not, not and Will Smith is not one of the trifecta. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. God. Okay. So okay. Then Mark. Okay. Okay. So. I feel like getting jiggy with it right now. Fuck you, talking about. Hey. So, the best to ever do it. Now I'm gonna ask you this. Then, you consider Jay Z a legend? Yes. Jay Z don't write all this shit. So he, does that still make him a legend? Yes. Why does that make him a legend <laughs> if he doesn't write all his stuff? How is he the best to ever do it if he if he has a ghostwriter? Or not even Ghostwriter publicly known that he doesn't write all his music. So how, how does that make him a legend? He doesn't. At this point, he doesn't even have to write all his music. He he's probably been one of the longest. In him and who Nas, but he's still. I don't know how long he's been out. It had to be at least fifteen years or so, and he's still dropping hits right now. On a consistent it's basis. The point where you don't even have to write your stuff anymore. He's written for he's written for himself. He's written for other people. He's produced tracks. I mean, he's done everything. Dude is one of the best to ever do it. I mean, he is the CEO of hip hop. That CEO care to touch like him. That. So a legend to you is consistent. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of the criteria. It has to be consistency. Even if they release trash music, it's still a consistency. I mean, that's what everybody does now. You, when you get a, <laughs> when you get an album, you get what maybe two good songs out of it. No, I, I can I can name one album that didn't really have too many good songs, and that was in a in an era where everybody was still releasing good uh, music on their album. Oh. Uh, what's the what's it called? Is it Kingdom Come? Hey, I like that thirty something song. Come on now, <laughs> you name one song, bro. On a twelve, what is it? A twelve song uh, CD. Thirteen. Oh, he also had. I forgot what the other one was. But that was the album. The album was trash. But then you still got two songs. <laughs> everybody, everybody in the game right now has. Drops an album and it has two songs that are hits. Yeah, but not everybody also drops songs like, or albums like um, College Dropout or The Massacre or, you know, where you just get back to back to back to back to back to back to back. You, on an ordinary album, you get about one to two good songs. That's probably the ones that they already mainstream nonstop. So you're tired of hearing that. That's the only ones they play on the radio. Is 50 Cent a legend? Who? 50 Cent. Yep. I would say not yet. He's 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 on the he's on the he way there. Two good albums. Uh, he's close. He's close. He's, he's, he's close, and he only had two good albums. Well, in my opinion, the first two albums. Yeah, yeah but he's he's also also maneuvered very well. When he came out, he was just throwing non. And I was I was in Iraq. I think when he. Or when I realized he was out, but all we heard was that this one guy is coming out of New York and he's just beefing with everybody. But he's legitimately beefing and really ripping people back and forth, like, like he was. It wasn't like he just got destroyed. It was like, okay, people are rapping and they battling back and forth. But Fifty is like constantly coming at. He didn't hit nobody low. He hit all the big time, big names, and it was like, wait, he's not. You not you can't knock this guy out. And then the way he maneuvered his anger and stuff towards people, it was really good. He mastered that craft of making you mad at him, 
but realizing like this this bad guy is really is really good. Like you you're not gonna one shot him like he did Ja Rule. Everybody else was just like, okay, you gotta you gotta you're not gonna be able just to to knock fifty off. So he's on that path to being like a problem later on. Hey, listen. He tried to go at Jay Z, but you know Jay Z said, "I'm about dollars." What the fuck is Fifty Cent? And that was it. That was enough, though. <laughs> People were like, "Well, who is Fifty Cent?" And then he just pop, 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 pop. Fat Joe, uh, Ja Rule. Uh, the whole squad, he just constantly, even people in his camp, when they mess, when they mess with his money or they had a thing of disagreement, the game, what is it? Was it Lord Young Buck? One of them, he just would destroy whoever it is, and you just wouldn't hear from them no more. And that's another, I think that's another criteria for becoming a legend. You have to body somebody, I mean, not literally. Kill him, but you you gotta body somebody track like constantly. So the boy ain't never do that. I don't know nothing that he's done that's ever done that. All the people we spoke, spoke about has done it. So you have to have consistency. Yeah, getting the beat have to show and win superiority at some. Point. I don't even think you have to get. You have to be in the beef and win. I think if you just like it in, you see how t- the rules keep changing every time we mention more. That's why the legend word. Man, that's why I'm, that's I'm, why I'm trying to be an right ready. next to it because, in anybody's opinion, at any given day, the sun is shining good. Hey, dead clock is right twice a day. Anybody can be a legend. So we scrapped out. Now, Jaru rule a legend to me. I don't know about y'all, but that nigga Jaru rule a legend. <laughs> Oh, He's a legend for getting torn up. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga had that nigga had his, bro. He had his. He had, run, and then he, he had a run bigger than Jay-Z, bro. Y'all gotta go all yeah, the way. A run bigger, bigger than Jay-Z? Is that what you said? No, he didn't have no run bigger uh, than Jay-Z. Crazy. Yo, man, go to go to the Billboard chart. Look at the number one. You gonna see Ja Rule on top of that motherfucker at his peak. Come on, man. I would have to, I would have to look at those numbers. That's for a season. Jay-Z still up there right now. You can go back 10 years and Jay-Z still there. He, he up there by just popularity. Now, like, at this point, <laughs> come on. Sam's son bought his album before it came out and the bitch went platinum. Like, nobody even got a chance to hear shit yet and he went platinum. Like, so. Awesome. They said he was buying his own album still to boost the sales. Sam's son, he got a deal with Sam's son. They bought his albums. Like, that was the, that was the agreement. Y'all remember he did the, the whole, uh, Sponsorship with Samsung and all that, and they got little backgrounds into his music. Really? This shit was platinum before it hit the streets. How, Sway? Oh, I ain't, I ain't know all that. You gotta dig, bro. That's why they're trying to stop sales from being digital downloads, and they, they are messing with it all that because everybody is they upping their sales digitally and all that by the streams and duplicating. So it ain't raw numbers no more like it just used to be physical copies. All that shit is tainted now. Okay, so you could be hot, but don't know that you hot because you bought or downloaded a bunch of copies of your own music. Like when they said Fifty bought out the first, because he uh, he did went to a talk show and said it, bought the first two rows out of a Ja Rule concert, and then when you come out to the concert, the first two rows is empty. But that's being petty. That ain't that don't well, mean that. motherfuckers ain't come to his show. I mean, he just bought out the seats where nobody could sit in those seats. That's see, but that's what that's what gets him in that what you call it. Nobody when people are beefing, they beefing and throwing out different records. Fifty goes beyond that to make sure that you know that I'm petty and that you know that we beef. I didn't forget about that beef all them years ago. Let me buy out all fifteen uh dollar tickets that you got on Groupon, buy out two full rows of your concert, and come to your concert just like so a watch you come out on stage and realize you don't got two rules. That that's a dude that's on track to being a legend. <laughs> See, but I, I feel like we put in we put in there's not like a we're not setting a real bar for legend. We we're talking about people that you that's may be good. You threw out there too much. It should be a legend. That a legend. You, legend. Okay, look, okay. Like, that's timeless. That's like you go. 50 years from now, when we may not even long, no longer exist, people would be like, this dude 
was a thing at this time. But they're going to have to go way back. And they might not even get mentioned. Come on now. You don't even hear about Bill Russell no more. You ain't know you thought Jordan had the most rings in the NBA. Robert Horry got more rings than him. Once Jordan era is dead, everybody going to be with the Kobe's. And then Kobe era. Listen, this kid don't know name Kobe. always still gets mentioned. That's because he didn't the fucking, he didn't the record. The only right. reason he keep getting brought up is because his records are just crazy, crazy insane. And people are just now becoming like the athletic enough to be able to break some of those records or even to compete with some of those. Okay. But, yeah. but that makes him a legend. His no. accomplishments have not been touched. Or some of his accomplishments have not been touched till this point. How does that make you a legend though? But when he was tall as fuck, like if if you go back to the what he where are he playing the sixties, the seventies, whatever, he's the tallest one on the court. So <laughs> can't nobody contest that. So how does that make you a legend? That's that's my question. Because when, you feel like he had an over advantage over everybody else during that time. Yeah, that's 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 just like if Yao Ming played in the sixties or the seventies, Yao Ming would have been a legend too. Because he's tall as fuck, can't nobody really contest this shit like that. All he got to do is just lay it up. Yeah, but he was like you said, Yao Ming. He was what, what, seven four, seven five? Yeah, he didn't dominate in, in his <laughs> that's because that's because the players then. Are were way more athletic than the players back then. No, no, no offense, but they was playing against mostly white people back then. You put some of the athletic motherfuckers against Will Chamberlain back in his day. I'm pretty sure he's not dominating like. That. Okay. Yeah, he was. Man, he was out here scoring a hundred for breakfast. But, 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 but also, they learned from him. Things that he was doing, like we may say Jordan, you know, in a few years, he may not have the same popularity. It might be a legend, but people that came after him have studied what he did, just like he studied what Dr. J did. It's not it's not even know. no footage on that nigga Will. That's how old it was. I mean, what's some of the games you can look at? Ah, wait. <laughs> But I, I mean, I, I feel the same. Like hip hop, it has to, it has to be that that type of way. They, you should not be able to be touched for certain things. No. And some of the people that we named were left untouched: Biggie, Pop, Eminem, Rock Him. You know, he just, he just got, he just lost the beat to MGK. In my personal opinion, he my personal touched. opinion, I and I like Eminem. And I like that MGK, when people are figuring or trying to decide in their different communities and groups, oh, man, who is, is Joe Budden going to come out? Is this person going to come out? Who going to be the first? Nobody, and I know this, nobody was thinking that MGK was going to be the first one to come out with a full video and to literally be on point and be like, wait a minute. I didn't know he was he was busting, busting raps like this. Everybody was surprised, like, Oh, snap, he the first person to respond and legitimately and, did great against Eminem. Yeah. Then you start looking at MGK like, where you been all this time? And then come to find out, I've been doing a bunch of stuff. Y'all just just now paying attention to me because Eminem said my name. That's, that's legendary status. You say somebody's name and you get them on the map. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew about him. Mm. Hey, why I ain't paying no attention to him? I want to call it legendary status. I still don't pay no attention to him because this stuff ain't at the same level to me. But you just said where nobody can't be touched. So what are you talking about when they say they can't be touched? Because in the Jordan era, if if that's what we're going by considering legend, nobody was touching Jordan in his era. He won every time when he retired. That's when they won. Other people won when he came back. Nobody won again. Now, if you convert that to rap shit, who are you putting up against that? If you say yeah, nobody think, can be, I think everybody has lost at some point in rap. Everybody. Well, you just said that's what I'm asking. You said can't be touched. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I mean, you still can't. If you put MGK versus Eminem, you can say that battle. But when you talk about body of work, he cannot touch Eminem. So they gotta have a good body of work. Yeah. So ja Rule didn't have a good body of work. It was. It was too short. 
It was what what as a famous quote from CJ, it was amateur at best. <laughs> y'all are crazy as hell. Bro, y'all gonna have to go back, bro. Y'all, y'all gonna have to put some respect on y'all real name. Look at okay, so my name. Back. What about DMX? Legend. So okay, so DMX and oh, all right, bro. Bro, DMX. I didn't say a legend. <laughs> DMX, listen, DMX run wasn't that long now. Come on. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't that long, but all the stuff he put out was quality stuff up until he, you know, started, like, totally losing his mind. But doing that that little Christmas reindeer rap. Oh, Lord. That automatically drops you out. Really? (laughs) I never never heard it. Oh, Oh, my God. I don't know why. He was just, he was just beating on the, he was just beating on the desk, messing around. Come yeah, on. he's not allowed to have fun. Look, beat on the desk right now, mess around, and then it's gonna be track work. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna be like that. But Dash I mean, I'd on. say he's really on the pool, but he's not legend to me. Okay. All right, we're just going to agree to disagree because uh, all I got from this conversation is a bunch of bullshit of what legends <laughs> is. And then, what, and then when I bring up some shit, well, he's not a legend, but then that person is a legend. So I just fuck that shit. I mean, we're just going to agree to disagree. We'd have to find some There's only people. two legends. We're just going to say Biggie and Pac is, is legends. Nobody else counts. Jay-Z doesn't count. Not Jay-Z count. definitely no, a legend. No, he's Jay-Z a de- does he's not a fucking count. Jay-Z does not count. Okay, wait. That's... For the, I want to make sure I say it right. I guess for the Spanish community, would Big Pun be their legend as opposed to Pac or Biggie? I don't know, maybe. Or would they drop down and say that uh, Fat Joe is is their legend? Because it was the two of them for their community and for the people who they were representing. And it's been the two of them for the longest until you get like, Pitbull and 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 those guys who came, you know, years later. So are those to their generations for their community and the people that they represent, or is it just Fat Joe, or is it just Big Pun, or is it the both of them? I don't know. Big Pun didn't have a a, a run like Big and Five did. He didn't, but he so. started. He was the one that pioneered for them that that uh that Terror Squad community that was a representation of their people and their you know their struggles and that stuff for them so whether he had a long run or not he was the first one to do it for them and then fat joe kind of just picked up where he left off and kept going so we're talking pioneer if pioneering is a legend or if we'll go back to the the basketball a lot of people pioneer does that make them a legend if so, then a lot of people that we name as pioneers and shit, and that makes them legends. So if we're going by that, then yes, they will think it probably be considered legends. They can't be just considered legends in the Puerto Rican community right. because they, they pioneered that shit, so they have to be legends overall. Correct. Which would mean the motherfuckers that I named would have to be because they pioneered. You see how that shit works, and then that shit starts to clash. You see how Sully, look how Sully, you see how Sully's face is. What did Ja Rule pioneer? Like the first to be singing on tracks? Crazy. How? Man, what it looks he... like when you really get bodied? What is it? What does that actually do to your career once you're bodied? Because nobody really knew. They would beef used to go back and forth for a long time. Remember, even Cannabis and LL Cool J, they was going back and forth. And LL, LL Cool J is the bigger name. Cannabis. I, in my opinion, was then he did. Then he say he eat ass though. Who? Or he eat a nigga ass? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. He, yeah did. he lost all credibility when he said that. <laughs> but and still, beef used to go back and forth. The first time mm-hmm. you ever knew that beef could actually end your career is when Fifty body jaw rule, and then there was no more, no more music. It was so Dude bad. Was making music that the back whole and forth with him. No, that that no. no it was what? That was it. just Fifty. Listen, Eminem, Busta Rhymes. I've never seen, seen Busta Rhymes, body, right? Body somebody. <laughs> I mean, but okay, back, but back. but they will body anybody if they want. It's three niggas on one. What the fuck? Do you no, expect? each of them did it individually 
And then he, he step kept he step he kept coming for them in some way or shape or form. And then they all like the Transformers put their powers combined and had a rap. And listen, when I listened to it, I figured, okay, that's that's them. That's what they do. When I heard Buster Rhymes' verse on it, I knew that Ja Rule had really messed up somewhere along the line because Buster Rhymes has never had any open beef or underground beef with anybody. So if he's okay. on the track, then that means Ja Rule, you've done done something you shouldn't have done. So, and then he was gone. Next time you heard from him, he was on some island trying to do a party, and there wasn't no party, and now he's in the news for this, and all that stuff is going on. So if 50 Cent, Eminem, and Busta Rhymes goes up against anybody, the person they're going up against is, is supposed to come back. So what you're trying to tell me is if all three of them ganged up on niggas like Jay-Z or fucking Nas or somebody or Jada Kiss, they would come back and still be going. No. Yes, Jada Kiss yes. would instantly have yes. the rest of his squad and it would be a whole thing. No, Jay-Z, it it, if they went at Jay-Z, they would have to know off the top that Jay-Z and Nas are going to be on the track together. If it's Busta Rhymes, you know, you got Busta Rhymes and a few of the squad he got from ter- from his group, the conglomerate, they're going to come back. Only Ja Rule was in the beef by itself because nobody wanted to rap with him. And then he had to rally the group together. I'm going to come up with New York. Now we all got to be in it because he wanted to talk about the different boroughs. So each person had to rap their own borough. But that was that style was still after Big Boy and them did it for the Atlanta song that they was doing. I know how to get my team together. I'm going to rap about New York. Then everybody's got to be in a rap song. And that'll keep people from bodying me. Note 50 just bodied you again right after that. No. No, I don't agree with that shit. That's just me. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yeah. A force to recommend. What's uh, up? Welcome to the stream, brother. A lot of the room situation happened when they caught that. They caught that Rico case, too. They caught a lot of cases and shit that played a, a big role. I mean, it, but, I know you was going to bring that, that up, but, you know. Right. Those facts. You couldn't make no more money after 50 did whatever he did, so they couldn't afford good lawyers, and so all that stuff <laughs> just kind of tumbled, tumbled down. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, bro. Yo, about this, this hip hop niggas and this hip hop people right now that we know some fruit cakes, so we feeling suspect about them. Okay, they still, then they still entrepreneur, they still get all the credit they get. So, but they ain't legends. That's okay. what I said. To me, there's a difference between people that are good. They okay, maybe Puff Daddy. Daddy is he a legend? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna let man. somebody answer the question because every time you answer the question, I I hit him with some shit that null and void. Right, I got, the, I got, I got, I got an answer. It's Puff Daddy a legend, Sully. He got to think real hard. Go ahead and say, go ahead, yeah, so I can crush that shit again. Years, you said longevity. He got that front running. He got that. I mean, he not he's not really a rapper though. Oh my god, he's, he's not. not. Really a he 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 rapped on a couple songs, but he not no no real MC like that. He's a producer. I agree. He a producer. He is, I would say he's definitely a pioneer. But Jay is saying if you're a pioneer, then you should automatically, it's, it should put you, you in the legend. Yeah. Would there be a biggie without, a, without P. Diddy? Dude, I don't, you don't know. I don't know. I think so. Because Biggie can still rap. It's, he wasn't oh, a non rapper Okay, look. If Diddy didn't choose the beats to Biggie to rap on, would Biggie still be a legend? Possibly. I don't think so. Really? Puff Daddy didn't add to his rapping skills. He just gave him the music. Biggie was already a great lyricist, so... Nobody said he, that. He, it's he, the he, shit that he rapped on that made him into Biggie Smalls and Notorious B.I.G. Okay. He already had the lyrical skills, I agree. But Mm -hmm. when it comes, if you take the beats that Diddy was like, hey, I need you to rap on this. You take all those beats away. I don't think Biggie is the same Biggie that we're talking about. Okay, I agree. Because only only Puff Daddy said, look, he's a, what is it? The the king of sampling or whatever. He was taking all. I don't don't know about that because there was other rhymes Diddy didn't do, and he still killed it. It's just he had that talent. To me, it seemed like P. Diddy 
leverage his talent to get to where he is right now because Diddy wouldn't be nothing without Biggie. True. So it, it it's like they coexisted together. They were so together. then they would both have to be legends. Legends. I mean, everybody. It's like it's like <laughs> who did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, because now he's talking about different Next things. You're talking about. Oh, I'm talking about the same shit that you're talking about. You're talking about producers versus lyricists. Mm-hmm. I mean. So you have to be a lyricist to be a legend. About somebody produced it. So you so, have to be a legend. I mean, a lyricist. What? Uh, you broke up. I didn't hear what you said. So you have to be a lyricist to be a legend? In my my personal opinion, you you need to be a lyricist. Yes, that that's one of the criteria. Well, then you have to take Jay Z out because he didn't write all his. Sh- oh, okay, he, look, he was, see, that, oh, see how I crushed that shit. Look, he he listen. I realized when he was saying that was that he was holding he something. Shit. He was holding no, that big. Yeah, you're talking about you're, talking about bits and, you're saying he didn't write all his stuff. Not he never wrote anything. <laughs> he well, big, okay, and hey, well, listen, and, and, but once he Ain't the reason he went platinum. What? What if the stuff Jay Z wrote only got him the gold, but what you wrote him got him the platinum? Mm. We we don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I wrote the just... stuff he wrote himself that went platinum. Oh yes, yeah, and I'm agree. sure the stuff that he didn't so write that got him. Disagree. Yeah, but we just gonna agree disagree because I keep it punching holes just... in his story. <laughs> yes, yeah, bad out here too, Force. It's it's okay. So if you found out Pac didn't write something, somebody wrote something for Pac that he Uh-oh. that he spit with, then mm-hmm. that doesn't make him a legend anymore. That will make, but my legend, my criteria for legend is different than yours. When I say pioneering, I consider that being a legend. If you pioneer some shit, and he pioneered uh, that type of music. What type of music? The the realest music, the the shit that we like to hear. While Biggie was over there, party shit, you know, pop making Brenda got a babe, shit like that. Keep your head up, that that motherfucking hood, but still real shit that people needed to hear. Biggie wasn't really talking like that. Yeah, yeah but they crack commandments. Okay, but then you have to throw in like Public Enemy. They was doing political. I consider them legends. <laughs> but see, that's why I said my my criteria and your criteria. That's why I said I agree to disagree. So you're saying Biggie's not a legend? I'm saying Biggie is a legend, but I'm not saying he's a legend because of the. You're saying he's a legend. That's what I'm saying. He's a legend for a different reason. He's a legend for for pioneering music into what it is, like like how things change in hip hop. He pioneered this shit like everybody was doing the little and the chicken tastes like wood and, and rapping like that. And then they <laughs> came along and changed it. Just how like Lil Wayne came along and changed it. Kanye West came along and changed it. They pioneered it and they changed it. A whole different rap style. Which makes which turns that shit into a whole completely different movement. See, I don't feel like he I feel like they're the most popular ones, but they didn't necessarily pioneer. There was other people that was doing the same thing. Coogee Rap was doing that before Biggie. Yeah, he just didn't get remember. that same popularity. The way the magazine covers portrayed Biggie and Pac, it made them bigger than who they were. So even if you wasn't a hip hop fan, if you were just a, a just a regular casual fan of hip hop, you they had were to pick up was, the magazine. Yeah, they was always on the front cover of the magazines. Into it, you know. Then when Pac got shot, it happened to be in the same studio Biggie was in. So it just all coexisted to make one big ass story. And everybody likes stories with drama. Right. And nobody seen the actual story go to the death of him. Like Pac gets shot, he die. And then a few months later, Biggie gets shot and he die. So it looked like a retaliation. So it was all just one big ass story that everybody enjoyed. It just happened to take two of the co-stars out the, you know what I'm saying, out the game. And we ain't seen it like that no more. You know, right. 
So do you also think <clears throat> on some level <laughs> that helped with with the division of how black people Nah, because if we waiting on two two rappers to, to put us all together, then we already failed if we waiting on us because they an entertainer at the end of the day. So we waiting on them to bring our ass to the forsaken road of peace and equality and brotherly love, then they tripping. Because Tupac told that nigga, fuck you, big I fuck your bitch. So how's that? How we cool after that? I don't want to be cool with you no more. <laughs> True. That does, See, that does start like, tripping. listen, whether you did or did not, the fact that you said it in a rhyme and now it's public knowledge, truth or false, that's it. That's it. There's no, but, there's no coming from, coming back from that. But if you go back, like a little bit, if you go back before Biggie and Pac and this whole, the whole East Coast, West Coast rap, when it was just rap, it was it just, hip hop just came out. That had a lot of levels of unity around it. But as you know, times change with air. It's not the same era no more. Everybody was out for self. As of now, it's all about record sales. Everybody <laughs> in the industry got money, so it don't matter about that no more. It's about what I can do better than what you can do. That's it. Okay. Come on. His rappers so out here. They they like to raise their hand. Oh, I ain't never had nobody feature on my album. Like, okay, you 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 proud? Are you good? Like, shit. If you really want to bring everybody together, shit. You all know it's enough money for everybody to eat. Because even the niggas that's boo boo is eating. Yeah, yeah. So it ain't like, oh well, since you a you a trash. If you a trash rapper, you shouldn't eat in this world. But that's not how it's set up because everybody got their own opinion of fans and music, and everybody. Love something special about it. There's some people didn't even know about X until he died. Like, oh, who was he? I didn't. Oh, you know, he's a young, I didn't. He's a young up and coming dude. But you go to his concerts, you know, he got bitches passing out like Michael Jackson, too. Oh, but you be like, oh, hell no. His music ain't. But different era, times change. These kids now, they, they dealing with self hate. So they music portray that shit now. You listen to some of the shit X say. He bring a lot of pain to his music, so a lot of kids resonate with that. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel in the same way. It ain't about it being they want to be just like them. It's just it's just a different feel yeah, like right. somebody else listening to your pain. That's all. You know, they, they can just relate to the music. They can relate to it better. I than honestly didn't know nothing about him until y'all told me after he yeah after he, after he passed. Uh, one of the watchers in the stream says, "Pac is a legend because his music has always." had a message in it and it wasn't just about BS. It always had a message. That's what makes him a legend. Yeah. See, that's an opinion. Cause I can pick right. three songs that, that says nothing about Pac being positive. You see what I'm saying? Right. I mean and there's tons of other people that have messages and people that came before Pac that had messages, but you know, they may not be considered legendary status. Only because y'all are saying it now, and I'm thinking about it, because all his music has always been positive, but I always felt like he didn't, he got a lot of shine, but I don't hear him in any of the conversations even now. Do y'all think um, Common is a legend? No. Ooh. But see, if you go to Chicago, <laughs> that hits you know close. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked his music Ooh. because it's always... You know, been positive. Even when he was beefing, his beef was positive beef based on the subject. It was still conscious. So he always had that, look, I'm not afraid to, to get down and dirty, but I'm going to get down and dirty my way. So mm. I always liked that about him. But I don't hear him. Like, y'all, we even said Will Smith when we were talking about the legends or pioneers, but nobody ever says uh, I never heard Common's name in a legend talk, and he's very conscious of what he says, how he portrays himself, how he portrays his music. Even when he's featured or he's on somebody's track or somebody's on his track, he always stays like in his lane without branching off too far from what he believes and what his music is supposed to represent. Yeah, but I'm about Sully to answer that shit again. Go ahead and answer, Sully. So I can punch more holes in your legendary. I didn't, I didn't answer it. Well, well, <laughs> we waiting on you to answer it. 
I just said personally for me that that one close because to me Commons in my top ten. So can I consider him a legend? I I don't know. No, ain't no bubble to me. No, ain't yeah, no I bubble to me. If you were, if you were in the top ten, like in the NBA back reference. If I bro, you in the top ten NBA? You know what I'm saying? Everybody goes, B. It's somewhere right now. Somebody got a room full of common shit saying he the best, overrated, underrated, whatever. So I mean, so lyrically, I think he's ridiculous. He's insane. But the thing about lyrically is it don't always portray the sales. See, right, right, right. That's, true. That's, That's true. true. That's the thing about the music, right. now. Come right. on, these mumble rappers ain't even got no lyrics, but they move. Oh, yeah, today's up. music is this trash. You know, look, I swear that we can come together in a week and just think of some little catchy bull. Do the, do the, do the, yeah, get it, get it. And as long as it's a hot beat, we get some sales. I mean, that's <laughs> what it is. They're not saying nothing anymore. But I'm talking about when the Pure hip hop, what it meant, it, what it is today. It's not even to me. It's not hip hop. It's his own thing. It's trap. Trap is different. It, it's completely different. So, so what Jay Z's making this this era is is, is trap, huh? No, Jay Z. I mean, there's some things that. Kinda. Okay, oh, all right, oh, okay. Well, then let me ask you this then. The song with him and Beyonce, that's not trap music? Oh, the one. I just said there's some things that he makes that crosses over into trap. But you just, just said, said that kind of music is trash. What was that song, uh, Jay Good? Uh, Ape shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, said, you said all of, all of today's music was trash. That's ape shit is real trap. You don't get no trap in that. <laughs> he said you don't get no trap in that. All you need is a feature, a feature on the on the vocals. I can't defend the song because that's not one of my favorite songs. So. But it's your, by your no, favorite. I, that's your isn't that your favorite rapper? It. Oh my goodness. Just because they're my favorite rapper doesn't mean I like every single song they ever put out. I'm not saying I'm not saying that though. You said yeah. he is legendary, and I'm trying to figure out if he doing shit like that. Why is he still considered legendary? Because he's still consistent. He's still consistent. He's still making money. He, to me, if we're talking pioneers, he's definitely a pioneer. He's he's. One of the first to cross that line over into to marketing and, and big business with hip hop. I said pioneer. You said not. You said you didn't consider pioneer being legendary. No, I said that's one of the criteria. I named about four different criteria: <laughs> pioneering, <laughs> lyricism, um, yes, timelessness, consistency. I named a bunch of things. How is Jay Z consistent when he doesn't drop every year? When he does drop, when he does drop, he still gives you your one. To which is all, which is all you can generally uh, ask for. And when like he does drop something, it's gonna be the black album. It's just it's something coming. that that's gonna grab you. When he dropped, when he came out and dropped that disc for when everybody was using the auto tunes and um, T Pain was doing his thing, that instantly grabbed everybody. It was just. The one song I don't even remember it was from my album, but that one song, the death of auto tunes. Everybody was like, "He's been gone for so long," and all of a sudden he dropped this, and it's number one. Everybody's like, "He's trying to kill auto tune," but really what, he was paying. Kill it. He was paying homage to it because everybody started saying, "Well, what is the auto tune again?" And then T Pain dropped the whole another couple of albums right after that that was just blowing up. So did you? So really he didn't win? kill it. But was he really trying to kill it, or was he just saying? Yeah, that's using... what it, it was called, Death Auto Tune. Yeah, but when you listen to T Pain's recollection of the time frame when he was talking to Jay Z when he was doing it, he thought it was funny, and then his sales went up, and then he came up with another album right after that that did really well because right before that, Jay Z was talking about trying to kill the Auto Tune sound, which everybody had started using again after T Pain stopped using it, and then T Pain dropped the album right after that that shot up. Right after Jay Z spoke about it again, it was kind of like, 
hey, he he was talking about it. We talked about it. I thought it was funny, and then I came up with an album right after it. Then you're like, well, damn. Jay-Z just came out of nowhere with a whole nother song and a, a couple songs, and it's doing real well, and he's talking about killing everything that all the young people right before that was doing that was doing really well. He didn't but kill never it. never ended, killed it. No, and then other people just kept going, and people still using it now. But the song so, itself during that time was like, oh my gosh, Jay Z's talking about killing auto tune, and auto tune is the new thing. And then he went back into his cubby hole and did whatever because else he, he was didn't doing. kill it. He I thought he had that. He he thought he had that legendary status kill auto tune, and when he found out he didn't, he went right back in. His I I think it was a. I think it was a. I don't think he was trying mm -hmm. to kill it. I think it was a um like a strategic move. All right, I'm gonna drop this. What you call it? It's hot. And if I'm talking about this, everybody's going to be like, damn, why is he trying to kill auto tune? What is this song about? Everybody listen to it. It did great for what it did, whether it killed auto tune or not. It still did good for him. And then he's like, oh, it worked. And then he just slipped back. Mm, that's one song, though. It ain't like he had an auto tune song on his track to no. support it. No. It was just mm -hmm. the one I just song. Think, I just think he took a shot and missed. That's, that's what, what I think. I think. He's, he's nah, but then he, he took shots and, and they paid off. Like when um, Little Wayne came at him, he shot him up. Even Little Wayne told in the interview said that he's like, "Look, I can't respond to that. I can't box with him in that arena." <laughs> well, what, did, what, did he, what did he but, bring up? Because he was. What was one of the verses? You ain't even got my lady money. Something yeah, like that. He said, he said something. Really, half a billy nigga. You making that baby money? Something not even. Half of my lady money, whatever. Little <laughs> <laughs> Wayne was like, "You." That's because he was already trying to sign Wayne because he knew Baby was fucking him as an artist. But ba but Wayne just stayed loyal as a young as a young kid. So like, come on, ain't nobody got Beyonce money. Come on, now. I got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain. Like, <laughs> that don't be shit. What do you What do you do I with think, that? I think right. Beyonce making, I, but I think Beyonce making more money than. No, oh, he, he, doesn't. Doesn't. he make more money as an artist. He make more money as a business you know what I'm saying? as a business, right? So it all it all coexists. I'm pretty sure they got a joint account somewhere. <laughs> there's there's you know only saying? three MCs that are pushing that may have actually cracked that billion mark, and that's Diddy, Jay Z, and Dre. I thought it said Dre already passed it. No. They might have passed it now, but those were and the I think, three that were not on and the bubble. If I'm not mistaken, I think Dre only jumped up. I mean, he wasn't that far behind. After, but I, that, Beats after, after the Beats deal, when he sold Beats right. to Apple, it that gave him the you know that the extra nos. And I was like, wait, because I think at that point in time, they were trying to say, oh, he might have just passed Jay Z, and then he had a big breakdown, like some of the percentages of the what you call it. And it was like, yeah, he got there, but he's still under. I mean, not Jay, uh, Puff Daddy, that was the, they were like neck and neck. And then they said with his right. jump, with the beat sale, that should put him right above uh, Diddy. And they was like, well, actually, when you look at the sales of the numbers and what he percent he sold, and did it, that put him up there, but he's still behind P. Diddy. But it's enough to put him now in the conversation of, you know, those guys that are breaking those numbers. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, everybody, got the rest of everybody else is... Scraping up chump change. Right. But they didn't do it off album sales completely. They had to go venture off and, and become a pint. Like, yeah. He did. He got that revolt TV. Like, he getting TV deals and shit now. Like, and that's a big alcohol thing. deal. And yeah, so, really, he can become, they trying to get their own station shit. We're going to be watching this station, meaning he can put whatever content he want without the mess. They masses. already got a uh, station. Revolt already got a TV uh, channel. Oh, see? There you well, go. I know that. And, and, That's something right there. and who else? LL, I think, is getting together and building a whole bunch of networks. Yeah, they are trying to buy networks right now. So this year, or this genre, the big, you know, the big money group, they're trying to get TV deals and shows and companies. So that's the new wave now. Mm -hmm. Ew, shit. But does that make them legendary? Yeah, pioneer, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going sure, I'm still go back to it. I mean, we're not gonna talk about this forever, but that's that's my overall question. Whatever the fuck that person is doing, does that make them 
legendary. And if it does, then you have to throw other people in the category, and that would make them legendary. And we're, but, and, and we're saying that legendary and pioneering do go together. His his whole camera went out. Look at it. Technical difficulty. I, I think that's one of um, one of the aspects of being legendary that you pioneered something. So that's one yeah, of the I think that's one of, yeah. Okay, I I can agree to that. Jay, good. I I, would, I already said pioneering was you're a legend for a pioneer. You're a legend in my eyes for pioneering anything. Okay, Bill Gates. Microsoft, uh, what's my college? Uh, Steve Jobs, Apple. That's they pioneered that shit. Soldier boy, Rappers. yeah, pioneer streaming. He got he even though I would I hate to say it, he got to right. be a legend. Think about that. Think about kissing me through the phone. That before FaceTime, you already had a bitch on there. Pioneer. Think about it. Michael Jordan with the short shorts transition to the long shorts. That's pioneering shit. AI. He a legend in my eyes. Why? Because he pioneered. He was the motherfucker, the hood motherfucker with the chains on and shit. The NBA said, "Uh, uh-uh. uh." Right. So they no, the NBA had to change their rules and regulation for the dress code just to stop him from thugging out coming to the game. Listen, and he said he ain't gonna change, and that nigga still just like he twenty. <laughs> Look at that nigga frown on that nigga face, boy. Look at that oh my nigga. gosh! Ooh. Come on, Jay Sully. Hey, listen. We're finding the common say, ground. No, I, I say he's a legend because of his crossover. But what? His crossover ability? No, we already know he's a legend for his his game. Well, but what is something else that changed? Like... Changed because of him? The dress code in the NBA. The dress code changed, in the NBA was changed because of you. Will have to be. Born in the 80s and the 90s to even realize that today's NBA, the way they dress, they didn't even dress that way. Everybody had on all kind of T-shirts, baggy pants, chains, Repping boxes, on whatever they was all rocking. Type of earrings, and, yeah. All type of sh- now LeBron got on short, short pants, a purse, Man. book bags, glasses, uh, fanny bro, packs. You know, where my pen at? We're going to talk about that purse shit on one of these. Okay. <laughs> but, <I'm> not- <laughs> Let me get my pen, bro. I'm not. They say, they, they, they say that purse costs more than people's houses, man. I don't, give a, I don't give a fuck what it is. It's just a little purse. Okay, so do you think hip hop or, or music, I can't even say all music, but we're, we're going to stay with the trap and the hip hop right now mm-hmm. and, and rap. Do you think it's more positive or negative now? Do you think it creates unity or more division? Depend on what station you're listening to. Depend on who you're listening to. Unity. Uh, some stuff I think is just, in my, in my opinion, must be indifferent. Because if you listen to trap music, I'm not a, you know, I'm not living in a trap or doing anything in a trap. Mm, I like the music, but the guys who was in the trap, that's their music. So they all, you know, hanging out and doing what they used to do. Just like for me and uh, my crew, we used to always go to the club all the time. So when we used to hear like Juvenile and 69 Boys and Uncle Luke and them, that's what we want to hear when we go to the club. That's what's our unity. Because I can see Jay Good and don't know who he is, and that song come on, and we both know in each other's eyes, like, you see the girls over there? They're getting ready to come over here. We know. I got to not know the song. That this, not know who. I know that it's about to go down on this dance floor right here, and he could be from wherever he's at, dap it up, because we know these girls about to come to the floor, and we're going to try and get them. We don't know each other from no place. But we know these songs bring <laughs> brothers together on the dance floor, because here come the girls. That's our song, That's our music. I mean, when I say together, I mean together as people, like progressing forward. Oh, there's just- no music out oh, there, but I mean, I there's it. We're reaching now. This shit gets overshadowed. There's no music out there that brings people no, together like debris. that. Too much, too much debris to, to fall on deaf ears with that one, silly. Ten, ten of your favorite rappers right now can come out with some positive shit. And it's a motherfucker next to it gonna be banging the shit out that Gucci. We gonna be- <laughs> <laughs> It's over. Yeah, that's so, shit on. So we're saying overall music has created or a lot of different Trap and hip hop and rap and stuff has created more division 
then no, it hasn't created it hasn't created more division than it has started. Like right when you listen to rap, you don't feel like smacking dog upside the head because he don't like this rapper or no shit like that. Like it's just now music is just what it is. Either you like it or you don't. It belong it belongs to you and what you you know what you that's believe it. or it don't. That, that that's it. I remember we used to go grab albums and shit, and me and my homies used to get together and listen to it in my basement and try to break the album down and see word for word, bar for bar. Now, like when Erica shoot. Badu first came out, and Lauryn Hill and the Fugees, and Neo Soul and was starting to pop. You know, you, people be smoking and chilling, listening to the Neo Soul and just in their own vibe. Like when you listen to common people music. This, people used to actually borrow albums. I know that sound crazy. Oh yeah. man, I'm having a book together, man. I, man, let me let me get that CD, let me get that CD book. Because mm -hmm. you know this person wow. listens to all this type of music, and that that fits in whatever you got going on for the rest of the night. Bro, for the night, bro, I'm about to have to yeah, come over. I need to get that Isley Brothers CD that you got. Let me get that. So I mean, I still, I still think there's a level on um, rap out there. There, as much as I always push back on him, Kendrick has some stuff that's actually conscious rap. That's that's a more positive than the negative. Then right, he has other stuff where well, I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but but see that's because he able to play both roles. He able to just be a rapper and go at niggas' throats, and then he able to throw a little conscious at you. You see what I'm saying? So he got a little bit of mix. That's it. Oh, then and somebody got to be somebody got to be next to Drake. Somebody that could be <laughs> could be in the line to becoming a pioneer and or legend. Um, the dude that we were talking about a couple months ago, um, that did that summertime. I kept thinking it was like Marcy Gray that was doing new music. Childish Gambino. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is he because of the way he's come out and how he's doing his music and his acting and his writing and the stuff that he's doing so he's fast? Doing that though. He's just catching up with the masses. He's been doing Ooh. that. Marcy Gray. Who's your say? Childish Gambino. I'm saying, is he on in the running to be either and or a pioneer and or a legend later on no. in the game? No. no, because he don't thrive for the attention. He can just kind of move at his own beat. Like he ain't he doing wanna... nothing that that everybody else has already did. Okay. I mean, he on yeah, TV shows, but there's been a bunch of rappers uh, shows. That video, this is America. Like yeah, that was kind of groundbreaking. No, because Exhibit no, did this. He did this shit in the early nights. Go all the way back. Exhibit did this shit a long time ago when he was leaving out his house, going to the store, and it was a bunch of chaos around. Oh. Yeah, he did. But even that, even that, I don't even if it was a the name of the song was completely different. I don't think he would have got that same traction like that. This is America is something everybody wants to know about because, in my personal opinion, everybody around us don't fucking like us. So when, and did you see how many other videos that spawned also? From different countries and different, you know, different people, they came out with their own video version of that after he did that. I yeah, mean, but everybody, thing. everybody, yeah, everybody want to know. Fuck, we. I don't. I. The, what I don't understand is why the fuck are we the center of attention in the world? That's the issue with that shit and. With us being the center of attention, all you have to do is put America in your title and have a catchy beat, and motherfuckers gonna look at this shit anyway. Okay, but what? that unconscious meshes to it. Mm -mm. To me, song, that that song pretty, pretty much song. expressed this is America in the eyes of black people. This is how we're being treated. This is how it does. This, this is how that that's how it was predicted. Or came across. That's how the media gravitated towards it, mm -hmm. and it was a timely message at at the right time because there was a lot of people and people Question. getting shot constantly. If he never made a video to the song, would it still have the same wave it had? Probably no. not. The nope. video, not the music. It's, it's just the scene. If you heard his music, because I've been heard that song like a month before the video came out. Yeah, I heard it too. I, and I, fun, I didn't it get was that. okay. It was yeah. all right. Like that's just Bino being Bino different. 
But then when the video came out, he gave you something to visualize. Then you start right. putting more words to the to the to the pieces of the movie. So that's all it is. Because hell, but think I, about I joining think that Lucas. Was think about joining Lucas show. I'm not racist. Come on, now. Nah. I personally had to, I had to see that video because I kept seeing clips of the white boy saying nigger. And I was like, what the fuck is it? I thought it was the white boy actually rapping that shit. So I had to go to the video. I'm like, oh, nigga, ain't mine now. <laughs> so I thought it was actually a white person actually rapping that shit and just being bold and out. I was like, what the fuck? So I had to go to the video to actually find out what the fuck was going on in that shit. Because Jacob put me onto that song. And he was like, go check this out. And I, I went to listen to it and the um, one dude goes first, and he's right. And I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm like, you know, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I was getting mad. Where did he find this at? The second verse would start piecing everything together. I was like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing here. But yeah, I think that was extremely groundbreaking. Mm. Groundbreaking, I legendary. Pioneering, then? No. That's not pioneering. A way to way to shoot a rap video where you can have a rap video with two people having a discussion. Each rap. That's a way to start a conversation. That's not pioneering. But they not they wasn't doing it in the rap videos. But we were still having conversations. Yeah. Yeah, there were, there were people that did that before. He, his was just. No, I'm really saying bad. we were having we were having those conversations before he put out that song with them to having a conversation and that's why i'm called it pioneering people were having dope these type of discussions already he just put it on a bigger platform so that i guess for everybody in the world to see and comment on and discuss yeah. okay but we had already been talking about the shit just think about it the, the news have been talking about the shit us as black people have been talking about the shit white people have been talking about the shit everybody has something to say about it but that video, all it did was highlight the shit that we were actually talking about in the first place. John Jones, bro, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Father, are you? Yes, I am a father. Well, we, you know, we didn't got off topic and shit. How long we been on this shit, P? Uh, we are <laughs> at an hour and 13 minutes, brother. Oh, yeah, we Good can go ahead and start, start rapping this boy on. Hungry, hungry. You hear me? You said hungry, hungry? What's up, John? John Jones? Look at that nigga's nigga lips. You can tell that nigga. Hungry. Stop looking at your lips, boy. Fuck around. <laughs> gonna bite his bottom lip off, nigga. Hey, listen. <laughs> I've been fucking these bitches up. The bitches raw as hell on my lip now. Too much sour shit on these bitches. Hey, yeah, these bitches slap, though. All right, well, we're going to wrap this up. Any last comments? Comments, questions, concerns, throw it in the comments, man. Listen, this is the first oh, of many. Don't give us feedback. Listen, we need feedback. Listen, we don't know. <laughs> we trying to pioneer some shit here, okay? Let's do hey, it. Okay. You know My last comment is Jay-Z is definitely a legend. And on that. Wait, no, you can't just say that. That's my last comment. We're not going to disagree with you, bro. Like. No. Come on. Now. Okay. Well, I'm signing if out. anybody I'm feels signing differently, leave, leave it in the comments. I'll nah. be sure to answer. <laughs> you said you're gonna be sure to answer. Yeah, I'll be. I'll, 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 I'll be sure to answer. Respect their opinion. You know, give my insight. Whatever. Okay. And we out. All right. Peace. Catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. On Jar Jack.